What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video, man. Today, in this particular video, man, a lot of you guys have been spamming me Damo Wilson's account, okay? Now, you would say, for what reason are they spamming you? For the same reason y'all been spamming me for the last month or so about Lawrence H. Robinson, man. Make sure you like this video up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Comment down below. Make sure you also share this video with a friend, okay? Hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend to tell a friend to tell ain't your mom to tell ain't Uncle Joe. He's still a hoe. Let's get right into this motherfucking video. We have Miss Dominique Wilson, okay? And we have um, Luscious Lawrence in the building, okay? Now, a lot of you guys have been spamming me as we see, man. It's a couple weeks ago. They were hanging out, you know what I'm saying, doing best friend teams, right? And just enjoying each other's company is what Damo was saying. But they have been very, very flirtatious, okay? They have been super flirtatious. I love you, my bestest friend, almost two years of strictly friendship. And what comes to my mind is when her and Lou what it do, her and Lou what it do, Mr. Valentino, okay? When they were talking, it makes me think now, did Lou What It Do really have a valid reason to feel some type of way about Lawrence, luscious Lawrence H. Robinson? Okay? And the reason why I say this is because they're hella close. Okay? And not only that, it was, you know, they had the whole kissing scene. And I know Dama was saying she wasn't really feeling it or whatever the case may be. They were just doing it as friends. But... It just seems like they have this certain type of chemistry. It seems like Damo really likes Lawrence, and Lawrence really likes Damo too. Okay? Now, in... How can I say it? In, in what type of way or how serious is this? None of us will ever know unless they actually come out and tell us. But I'm telling y'all, man, like they have been getting very spicy these past couple weeks. And you guys have been spamming me this post right here. Okay? She says, my best, I mean, my best friend matched my fly, no doubt. Laura says, you so fine. And Damo somewhere in here, which I cannot see where she is, but somewhere in here says, have you seen what you look like, basically? Have you seen you lately? So basically, she's saying that you look like a snack. Okay? So, guys... Like I said, man, until they come out and actually speak on what they got going on, man, all we have is that they're just best friends. She did claim that they had never done anything, but that was like two weeks ago. So, I don't know, guys. Let me know if y'all find anything else, but this is what we have so far. And I'm just going to keep y'all updated. Y'all have been spamming me to talk about this situation again. And it just seems like this is evolving past... A little bit past a best friendship, okay? And we, if you watch Easy X Natalie, Easy and Natalie, you know how best friends can turn into something more. I'm not saying that's what's happening here, but it really makes me think if Lou What It Do had every right to be upset at Lawrence. I don't know if y'all remember the situation, but I believe it was Damo on her Instagram live. Lou Valentino was in there. Lawrence was in there, and they actually got into it on there, okay? So, yeah, man. It's crazy to think about, guys. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. If y'all didn't know, if you haven't noticed, Lou, what it do, hasn't been in the picture for a minute. But I do believe that he had his own things that he contributed to that relationship or friendship or kinship, whatever. Not kinship. Kinship is like a cousin, brother. No, that's nasty. Um... They had their own little situation, and I feel like he probably did some things that made her feel some type of way, which is the reason why she had to cut that nigga off, okay? That just is what it is, but it really makes me think, like, did you have a crush on Lawrence this whole time low-key, or was it really just strictly friends, and that's what you thought it was going to be, point blank, period? Because it is very um, possible that two attractive people can do a scene or whatever the case may be, a music video, intimate moment, and them not ever do anything else or them not look at each other any other way. 
And if what she's saying is correct, it kind of just developed naturally, organically into what it is now. But like I said, man, until they actually come forward and let us know out their mouths or type it out, um, we may never know. So, um, and maybe she just wants to keep it for herself. Maybe he wants to keep it for himself. Everything is not for social media. I feel like, man, sometimes when you post certain shit on social media or you want to post your girlfriend or whatever the case may be, your boyfriend, you're allowing outside opinions, you know, into your relationship too. So, um, yeah, that is what it is, man. Let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel. And if you guys think this is, this is going to develop into something more than a best friendship. All right. I love you guys so much, man. Whoever just subscribed, you are lit as fuck. Let's keep going up, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend to tell a friend that I ain't your mom today, Uncle Joe. He's still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Love y'all, man. Peace. Here we go.